Uh, why do you think people are such huge fans of the Incredibles franchise? Because of the family. I think people just recognize themselves in the family. Maybe e they even recognize like multiple characters <laughs> of, of them, their own self. Um, and, you know, and it's cool that it's slammed up against a superhero theme too. And uh, Helen is called up uh, in this film and has to go through d duty versus family. Can you tell us a little bit about that story? Well, I think she really revels in the autonomy of, of being on her own. She's, she's thinking of no one but the crisis at hand. And so she gets to just kind of like, you know, erase everything else. But, it's, but she can't because she is a mom. So she always leaves room for the possibility of an interruption or to go back to her family. But I think she celebrates that part of herself, that she is a, a, a superhero and loves it. And Bob, has you guys already had two children, and the question here that was given to me is, why does Bob struggle with Jack-Jack? Uh, why? Well, first of all, he's a baby, and he's not sleeping very well. Mm -hmm. and both, and that translates. But I think he's having difficulty with all his kids. But then uh, getting to know them, getting to know what their talents are, how to relate to them in a way that they listen and respond. And then he's hearing himself be, become a parent, really, for the first time. In a little one, that's more uh, visible, if you will, than in somebody that's gotten a little older. Because I think more of your own deficiencies show up. Uh, but for Bob... With little ones? With little ones, yeah. And I think what I think he finds is that his talents, Jack-Jack's uh, talents, that he understands those and can embrace them. And then I think he, there's like a teachable moment where he can help him adjust to it, or hopefully. And um, can I hear from both of you uh, about the relationship between Bob and Helen and what makes it so great? Well, I think there's true love there. I mean, I think they ad truly admire each other. Um, I think, you know, that that I u ultimately really do have trust that the, the, the kids are going to be great with you. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, I mean, there, there are momentary, like, doubts, but I think, but, but ultimately, her own trust in him overrides those minimal doubts that yeah. surface. Um, but yeah, I think there's real love and admiration. Yeah, and I think also for, for my part, yeah, I think it's, you know, he's, Bob, has looked at, looked at Helen for guidance, uh, for her wisdom, for her insight uh, as a mother and also as a competitor, really. That's cool. And he, he finds a lot of strength in himself through her. That's cool. Well, no, I think it's true for these characters. I, I just, he would not have, I don't think, he's so naive in so many ways. He's, uh, he's fairly innocent. And she's able to, when she dissects the crime that's being committed in the second one, she's much more facile in that regard than he is. He's more head-on, you know, give me a problem, I'll solve it, I'll break through it. Hers is more uh, dialectic. I mean, it's, she's able to, like, trace it down, you know? Uh, lastly, they want to know if you could have a superpower, what would that superpower be? I think mine would be compassion. <laughs> that a girl. Yeah, because I was going to say maybe <laughs> just a little bit more sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I don't. What would my superpower be? What would my superpower be, Craig? Well, I want to say <laughs> languages. I, just, I think instinctively she has a gift for languages. It would be really interesting to see her multiple languages. That, that would be cool. Yeah. That's you so could, cool. You could go anywhere with anybody, with any group of Wouldn't people. that be the coolest? That would be and an incredible damn, superpower it's right there. thing. I mean, just to think about people who know seven different languages. Yes. That's a superpower. I'm talking power. about 20 for you. I'm talking, you could but go for... I, I kind of feel like that if you have a command of seven languages, 
you could easily have a command of 20. You're probably, that's I think probably that, right. that your brain, yeah. that is so well worked out that yeah. you could just add some. I think it would be hard to go from Mandarin to Scandinavian. I just have a feeling. <laughs> <laughs>